All right. Good morning. What are we listening to? Good. This dog. Yeah, some of these people, just the name is weird. Like that, that's something that I would put if I was making like 50 or 60 accounts, bro. Like a code and then a name. Odd. A little odd. Why is that break? A heavy snare. He must need it. Like literally, all of them. It's, it's very apparent in every, the snare is very apparent in a lot of Benny's songs. I never, I never noticed that, but. Uh, 
A lot of people want the snare in their headphones, but they... What the fuck? Зачем, блин, чё? Как барыгам, короче, потом по бабам. What were these scabs cussing about? Woo. Said woo. Bizri. Where did they go? Didn't notice this. Those two scabs just disappear to they go over this way. Check some tech spawns.
need to make my screen a little bit higher. Пожрать бы, конечно, вообще не помешало бы это. Really need the transmitters, Nikita. Really need the transmitters, bud. Opachki. Понятно. This AUG magnet might be worth a little bit of repo. are all unlooted all of up here is unlooted which means that out back and stuff are going to be unlooted as well those boxes and the boxes outside are they more competently spawn a few different things the transmitters that I want
How's it going, Nebula? What's going on this morning, bud? Why is my scav back behind here? What are you doing back here, bud? Let's go to extract. Dylan, you know how it goes? I do know how it goes. There's a nod to Dark Souls on the other side of the map. So there's this campfire. There's a uh, campfire over there that's called the Dark Souls campfire. It looks like the campfire from Dark Souls. Pretty cool. There are some little things in this, some small things in this game that are pretty cool, pretty neat. Yeah. And the thing is, it you have to look at the map to even know that. Like, that's the only reason I know it is because I never, I never played Dark Souls. Honestly, honestly, say that. Never done that. But uh, yeah, on the maps, that's what it's called, and it's marked as an Easter egg. There's some instances of like things on landmarks that point to stashes with the sword and everything. Yeah, pretty sure. Sure. Uh, let's see. At the docks. At 14 minutes, we should be able to make it to the docks and back. In theory. Endurance minus 10. Oh, gross. Our point. I'm a bit overweight, so we're going to, where's my whip, there we go, by the gray car, pushes in front of the gray car. Hyper rock, it's in front of that one. Oh. We got a pretty good ways to go, but it'd be fine. We have plenty of time. We can drink some coffee on the way. Like there are a couple of places where like on interchange where the where the um outline of a t-rex points to a stash stuff like that just little things in a lot of different places um there's a toilet up here somewhere yeah. that'd be nice love how games do the dark souls bonfire
There's also something else on a different map. I can't remember exactly. Always check broken crates, things spawn in them. Sometimes really good things spawn in them. We're, we're here for the broken crates, basically. The radio transmitters we're looking for spawn in these. Dark Souls bonfire is up here by Marin, sort of. There's Marin. That's a locked um, R. That's the name of the key. Marin. This one. pretty cool what's the other one right here ah yeah I forgot about that so we go over here right glad I was able to see it um ah right here this is Wilson from Castaway Yeah, yeah, legitimately. Isn't that great? <laughs> Isn't that fucking great? Why is this boat on this trailer backwards? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't even know. I don't know why I even asked that question. Don't know why I even asked. I don't know how you do that. No idea how you do that. I sold my boat like six, eight, no, probably a year ago now. Closer to. stamina let's go on trailers backwards so you can back them into the water and laugh them out right exactly yeah you got you get it you get it like you would have to submerge the entire trailer and then put your boat in reverse No, no, you would have to back down the entire trailer and then see I don't I don't know how that would work. Those are onboard motors. The 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 motor is under like inside of the hull and so like the props and shit are hidden in the bottom of the hull rather than sticking out of the back on the motor. You've launched a few boats in your day? Yeah, me too. My grandfather left me a um, 
2006 Nitro Tracker series um, engine. That's how you always done it? You've always put your trailer, your boat on the trailer backwards? Uh, I mean, uh, I've never seen that, but all right. News to me that people do that. Is this a Marin as well? What is this key? It doesn't show that there's a key for that. So I'm I'm going to assume that it doesn't exist yet. Then backed it into the water. Yeah, so I know, I know. you back the trailer into the water, but the boat is backed into the water as well. Like that boat is on the trailer in such a way that you would put it in forward to get it off of the boat trailer which is wrong the boat is on the trailer backwards i've never heard of or seen anyone drive a boat straight off of a off of a um <laughs> off of a trailer i would i would I would, I would be I would be dumbfounded. That would be that would be news to me. Mostly because it would be very difficult to get it up on the trailer. It would be far more difficult than it than like you know going the other way. So, if you see this number and it's yellow, we throw the bag down, it goes away, lessens the likelihood of us breaking our legs and shit like that. Walk backwards, like hold um, S as you go down that and he'll just kind of slide on down. Walk all the way up to this, jump. Any other way, you can't jump up it have to be touching it you have to like walk all the way into it You're good you have to be pretty fucking heavy not to be able to jump up it if your strength is above 10 oh you already came in here uh skills endurance no you can do it with eight i think it's five minimum to jump up it but i've been too heavy on my pmc like 68 70 kilos is too heavy to jump it jump up there
I can imagine breaking your legs isn't a good time. It's not, it's not when you don't have something to fix it. So like on my PMC, it's not too bad, but on a scav, it can, it can seriously hinder your ability to get to an extract. Um, if you can't find a splint. Um, whereas, you know, on my PMC, it's, I've got everything that I need in my, on me to fix a splint already going into the raid. It's just like, RNG going into a raid on a scav as to whether or not you're gonna receive any meds. So like if you're in the middle of the map and you break your leg on a scav, Um, you're probably better off just leaving the raid because you're not going to make it. So a CMX, a CMS fixes blacked limbs. That is all. Um, a serve um, fixes blacked limbs and broken limbs. Um, nothing can fix your head or your thorax in raid. If your head or your thorax get blacked in raid, um, a CMS and, or a, um, serve won't work. They're just blacked. You have to live in the raid with that. Um, but yeah, CMSs take like half of the health of the arm. So if I use a CMS on on this arm, it's gonna have somewhere like 30 hit points left on it, right? If I use a, um, if I use a serve, it only knocks like 25% off of, off of the arm. So it's like 40 rather than 30 or 48 rather than 30. Um, so they're, they're actually better, but CMSs are faster by like four seconds. Um, and these are faster than a serve. These only take three seconds. So a lot of people run aluminum splint and CMS just because they're faster. But no, um, no surgery kit can, um, replenish health. Only, uh, first aid kits can replenish health or medical kits. These are probably the most common we use the first first couple of weeks or so or the first few days of wipe. Into labs. Are, is there a difference between Slaywas and IFAX in the... Yes. Oh. Um. A lot of it comes down to how well they work. So to stop a light bleed, a Salewa uses 45 of its hit points out of 400. Um, to stop a heavy bleed, it uses 175 HP, right? So a lot of people only use it for the light bleed. Um, and they use um, S marks and hemostats for heavy bleeds because they're faster and they're cheaper than a Salewa. Um, IFAX require less to stop light bleeding, but it uses almost the entire thing to stop a heavy bleed, right? AFAX are a little bit better in that they use a little less than half to stop a heavy bleed, 
and then only 30 to stop a light bleed. Um, bandages stop light bleeds. And then these stop heavy bleeds. You won't be able to buy these for a while. Um, but these are good. These are really good. You get three uses out of them to stop heavy bleeds. Heavy bleeds kill you the fastest. Heavy bleeds will kill you faster than a black limb. So, um, we go into our controls, right? And for, so one, two, and three are all for weapons, right? Number one is your pistol. Number two is your main arm weapon, your primary weapon. And then number three is your secondary, um, primary weapon. So on number four, people usually keybind their meds like heavy bleed to four and then um, meds to five. So what you can do is put four and five on a press and release. So what that effectively does is allows you to, uh, um, I'll show you. So when you hover over K lock B, you press four. Then you move your mouse and then you release four. What that does is it gets rid of the heavy bleed before trying to use this, which significantly reserves your um, meds. And you don't have to go in and fucking, or you don't have to pay attention to which button you're actually, pre which numbered like four or five. You, you just press the number four. That's good. That is good. To do, in my opinion. It is tremendously helpful. Oh, shooter. I already have that. Oh, no. I need to come on house. Takes notes. Yeah, there was a um I started doing that last wipe. I saw a video of some guy doing that. Maybe slush puppy. Um may have been him. Or baddie. It was either slush puppy or baddie. Um, and that that was. It's actually like really, really effective. You know, you don't you don't have to think about using which med first. You just press the set. You press heal, basically. like that that's gross Like if if you think about it, in the middle of a gunfight, you don't want to have to think about whether or not you're pressing four or five. Whether or not you're pressing the right fucking button to heal the right thing first. 
That could be the difference between life and death right there. Just the ability to heal faster. Um. Big pee pee move. I mean, it's just, it's really helpful in gunfights that you don't get a break from. Like some gunfights you shoot and then you kind of, you get a break from it where you can heal and then you can go back into position and shoot some more. Um, but some, it's just, they start pushing you and you don't have time to heal. Um, that's common for like scav raiders and labs. They won't let you heal. They'll just keep pushing you. And that's how a lot of squads play as well. So it, it's imperative to learn how to heal fast or do things like that that help you heal faster. Um, yeah. All right, Cap, do aliens exist? Um, it would be ignorant of me to um, definitively say that I don't believe in them. Like that, that's arrogant of the human race to think that we're the only things that have ever existed that are sentient. Like that's absurd. Um, I don't think they're aliens like we believe aliens are. Um, any form of alien life would be life that is not indigenous to Earth and is not carbon-based, right? So, we think of aliens as completely developed species, but their vel very well could be non-carbon-based species that are just on other planets existing you know they may be microscopic but they are animals of a different basis so i mean i i don't know of any of the proof but i don't doubt that alien life exists. So yeah, there's that. You would have to be very... You would have to be very close-minded to say and believe when you say it that we're the only sentient creatures to ever live or exist in the world like the scale of the universe in comparison to us is like looking at a fucking microscope like we can't see we can't see bacteria or amoeba with our eyes, but we can look at a microscope and see bacteria and amoeba with our eyes. And who's to say our scale, right? So in, in terms of the universe, we are a f we're smaller than a fucking pinprick. And when I say pin, I mean safety pin, not a fucking writing pin. We are smaller than a pinprick in the scale of the universe. Like, we are so small, we can't grasp how small we are um, in normal concepts. Like, you know how in there, there have been cartoons made where entire societies form on, you know, in a fucking fish tank. Like the the spermicides in South Park, who who's to say that we are not that small and someone else is looking 
and observing us, you know, in some way, shape, or like. We, we don't know. That could be possible. It's very unlikely. It is very unlikely, but could be possible. Like, and takes notes harder. <laughs> like, I mean, and people discount things such as that because they think it's so absurd because conceptually it is absurd. Like we have light cycles and shit like that, but who's to say that the light is always on and we're just spinning around and it changes because we're moving in a solution or a, or a vacuum in an experiment. We can create vacuums. Who's to say we're not in someone else's vacuum being observed like Maybe we are being observed by a far more advanced civilization that has figured out fusion and can maintain fusion inside of a vacuum to study the inhabitants of a solar system in which they created. Like, I mean, the, the, these are all things that very well could be real and... <laughs> <laughs> the tinfoil haddish, yeah, but but like, who's to say? Because we're so minuscule in in the grand scale of things. It's like in our world, we we we're six feet tall, right? But in another world, we may be mere micrometers tall it, it all depends on scale and who is observing you know a, a fucking a mouse um, a mouse thinks it's fucking big <laughs> some things are bigger yes i mean fuck elephants are bigger than us but <laughs> but in the scale of a mouse an, an elephant is a whole goddamn city they're the, they're the size of a fucking house. And the world for them is, is something that they'll never traverse the entirety of. Something that we literally can do in, in merely a day now. You can traverse the entire globe. He's going super critical. I mean, it's just, it's just like, and people discount these things because they're so unbelievable, but who, who, uh, who's to say, who, who, how much do we really know? You see what I mean? Like, somehow I knew what I was doing. I was just shot at. <sighs> Wee. See, broken leg, can't walk fast. person was or where I was shot at but yeah you know everything you're saying is definitely the same way you think about it yeah I mean and like we're we're very small and people don't realize that we are that small and it's just crazy
it's just the human species are a very very small and close-minded species Somebody drop stepping to run. Was not paying attention. Ads. Worry. Airplane. All right. Everybody's back. Sorry about that, I forgot to run ads before coming into this raid. Many apologies, good sirs. Someone crossed this bridge earlier, just like 30, 45 seconds ago. should have went left so that I could have seen them go in but it's fine it's fine <laughs> I am so sorry about that I don't know where that came from that was very uncomfortable. Did not like that. I want to be late to everything. I want to miss every player. I only want to see scabs. There's a philosopher named Lucretius. He said something that always bottles. Why am I thinking about it? What's that? What did he say? Let me take that. After this raid, I've got to take the dog out. He's. Content. Malcontent? I don't know. Someone's already been here and looted all of this shit. They threw a band aid out to get something.
He said if you go to space and shoot an arrow and it travels in a straight line endlessly, will it either keep going or will it hit something? And if it hits something, what happens when you shoot the arrow again from that same point? Will it go or hit something? So basically saying no matter the outcome, it's proving the end of the universe is endless. I mean, yeah, it, it would always hit, it would always eventually hit some mass, but that's, I mean, yeah. If you shot anything um, in a straight line, we argued. We argued just yesterday. If you're, if you're, um, as long as your bullets, right, are made, um, in an environment that has enough oxygen to sustain the reaction, right? As long as your bullets are made in that sort of situation, a gun should very well work in space. Now that's very, very dangerous because if you shoot a gun in a spaceship, everybody in it dies, right? If it punctures the hull, everybody dies. But I understand your thing, your, your thing. Eventually, it'll hit something, meaning there's always something else. Yeah, I know, I know. I had that conversation yesterday with Chilled. Or someone, someone. Maybe it was you. It was it you. Yeah, the arrow working has nothing to do with it. I, I understand. I understand. It, it, there's always something else for it to hit, meaning there's always something else indicating um, by implicit de deduction. Nah. Using deduction, that tells you that there will always be something else and that the universe is endless because there's always more matter for the arrow to hit i got you understand i understand there's a player somewhere Sorry, I don't I don't remember a lot of details from day to day. Like I remember content like and like content of conversations, but I don't remember specific surrounding conversations. That's one of the things that I lost whenever I had my TBI. Now let's talk the laws of thermodynamics and the dichotomy of good and evil. That just sounds not fun. Good and evil don't really exist. We still do things in this day and age that would be cons would be considered evil and have considered evil.
I'm aware of the laws of thermodynamics, but I, I couldn't tell them to you verbatim. Um, and I don't know. I just know the laws. I don't know um, any any thermodynamics particularly. Like specifically. experienced with Boyle's gas laws and um stuff like that um chemicals chemically based and um physical science Is where a vast majority of my scientific knowledge lies is there not in physics I have a very very rudimentary understanding of, of true physics um, I'm, I'm more knowledgeable about chemistry and physical science but not like doctoral level chemical science or um, physical science because they Those are um, calculus and physics enjoyers. Not that, not that smart. My brain doesn't work. Like I understand some calculus, but some of it just doesn't make a whole lot of um, sense to me. At least this last time I tried to learn it. First time I tried to learn it, I was high all the time. The second time I tried to learn it was after a fucking brain injury. So, how experienced am I with GAU8 Vergner? Uh, I have zero experience with that. Zero. I'm not experienced whatsoever. Very well, very well. I don't, what is that? I'm intrigued, but I. The thing that goes brr, 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 on an ATN war uh, Okay. Okay. I think I might have saw um what's it called? Um, Thumb on YouTube. 
Do one of those. Watched somebody shoot one yesterday, I think. Oh no, that's bigger. That's bigger. That is bigger. Hey. two of them are these the goons Maybe I should have aimed. Fun fact when developing hey, that. these fucking scabs eating so many rounds of m62 this is gross in fact when developing that weapon they originally wanted it bigger but couldn't because of anything bigger the recoil would just destroy the jet as it was going for a nosedive to fire ah got you it just gotcha. just fuck shit up shell is longer than your forearm yeah probably designed to pierce through tank armor and explode you know my grandfather operated a tank in Vietnam he was in the first armored regiment to cross into Cambodia his tank he commanded it he grew up in Mississippi picking cotton seriously that's where he started 
he grew up in Mississippi to a poor family picking cotton. He got drafted to Vietnam, um, where they taught him to work on tanks. Um, and then after he got back, he worked in a grocery store until his brother opened up a machine shop. Then he worked at the machine shop until they sold the business. Was good. Good. They did better for themselves than I would have ever done. He built this house. He bought the land that it sits on. It's so weird thinking of veterans working jobs like grocery stores and stuff after doing what they do or see what we saw now. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. He, um, he came back from Vietnam and managed a grocery store in Mississippi. Some people just live with it better than you, I guess. Good on them. He did a really good job of it. He, he never spoke about anything um from over there i mean there were there was one or two times where he spoke to us about using blast cord to chop down trees um and then they would stack the fucking bananas on from the tree that they just chopped down on top of the tank and they would have the fucking tank would just be covered in those little tiny bananas um but outside of stories like that he never um told me anything he he received a bronze star um, for his time over there and several several unit commendations banana camouflage yeah yeah he he did he did several uh things he was rewarded a medal and um or something for bravery or Yeah, he did a lot. He did a lot while he was over there. There's only one time he told me of something that actually happened to his tank. Um, he said that there was one instance where they ran over a landmine and he had to get out of the tank and fix the track um, while they were under fire. The only, only time he ever told me about combat He, um, he died a few years ago to a very aggressive um, mouth cancer. They thought that it was a, it was related to the chemical exposure from being in Vietnam because we used a lot of chemical warfare that we've since added to our Geneva Convention um, list of illegal things to do.
grandfather's grandfather is Sergeant York, York and your dad's grandfather's grandfather's dad was Davy Crockett. So that's really cool. You have legendary heroes in your family tree. Hell yeah. That's actually really neat. Onansuka. A lot of typos there, like always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. I, I kind of guess that's like my grandfather's grandfather's grandfather. So, like, four, three or four generations ago? You were trying to say, right? That scab just ate a headshot. Son of a bitch! Watch quite a few watch quite a few Tarkov streams and you by far die the least out of all of them. I, I die a lot um some days, but I've I've kind of been focusing on trying to stay away from people. I only I only survive four out of ten raids. Also don't charge into hot zones with gunshots. Yeah, bro, it's a survival game. I'm not I'm uh, there are some quests that require you to run around and kill a bunch of people, but I would much rather run around, loot, survive, and kill people passively. Like, it's just, that's just the way I would, I would rather play. Sure, why not? I mean, some days I die repeatedly, but lately I've been, what I'm, I'm looking for loot, specific types of loot. Um, so I'm, I don't, I don't want to run around and die. I mean, I know running to some places, it's easier to get some kind of loot, but a lot of times, if you go in a little bit later, you'll have a better chance because a lot of people have already let down their guard they've already killed some stuff so they're trying to loot that on the ground they're not paying a whole lot of attention to their surroundings why does it sound like everyone in tarkov is flat footed just slamming their feet down when they run i have no idea it drives me crazy it drives me fucking crazy now it makes sense sort of if you're like you know 60 or 70 kilos but whenever you're um underweight or just a little overweight yeah nah. i don't run on my heels i run on my toes always have i was a sprinter I mean, I guess it might be easier to do distance running heel toe, heel toe, but I don't, I don't have any experience with that. I ran the four by two and the 400 meter. Yeah, it, dri it drives me crazy though sometimes like clap 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 repeatedly all right i'll be right back turn some music on and um i'm gonna run ads while i'm going uh so you don't miss anything i gotta take the dog out don't get me wrong you've run with 200 plus pounds of gear but still tarkov is a little extra i agree um it might have something to do with the headphones 
Like, you have to wear headphones in Tarkov or you will die. More times than not. Unless you're in, like, factory and you're running around with a big-ass helmet that doesn't require you to. Um, need headphones as much, uh, but most instances, yeah, it's, um... Oh, I need to buy some... So, like, everything is a little bit louder because everyone wears headphones in Tarkov. But I'll be right back. I'm going to go walk the dog real quick. She's having a fit. Put it up on the screen. Be back.
Imagine breaking your arm while you're working out. Just you're just doing your bench presses and you break your fucking arm like an idiot. Imagine. Imagine you're that fucking dumb. Imagine your no, imagine your bones are that fucking brittle. Imagine your bones are that brittle. <laughs> Crack. What a f what a f Bro. Um Nah. Nah. Imagine if OC was was available in Tarkov. That would be pretty fucking effective, wouldn't it? The closest thing we have to that is um Um, the flashbang rounds for the KS. I can't buy them. I don't know where they're at. There. That motherfucking thing, bro. Sneak up on some, sneak up on someone, spray them, one pop of the pistol, boom, per year. Uh, yeah, there are people that do that with the uh, flashbang shotguns. So they'll, they'll run a um, KS-23 and a pistol, and they'll only bring in flashbang rounds for their KS. So they'll, so they'll shoot the KS at you and then pull their pistol out and kill you with a pistol. Brutal? Yeah, it's really brutal. You can't see anything. It's it's really uh, <laughs> it's really effective. All right. 
I, I, I need to sell this stuff, but I don't want to sell this stuff. I need to feed this fucker. Use 10. Bring it with us. Instill fear, win wars. Wear nothing but Tagilla mask, combat boots, chest rig with flashbang and a tomahawk. I mean, instill fear, win wars. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's a way to do it. I still need to kill Tagilla. I like running around with him on my sky, but I don't want to. I don't want to go to factory on my PMC. I just don't fucking feel like it. I haven't felt like it in days. Fucking. I don't like to PVP in this game. Because half of the time it's just. Someone gets shit on and it's not even because the other person was good. It's because the server lagged. Like it's not. <laughs> It's not good PvP most of the time. 90% of the time, it's not good PvP. Literally, 90. Like, it's just people getting one tapped in the fucking head. 90% of the time. Factory is a fun shit show. I agree. I need to get some MP7s. We have some, we have a couple Altons. I thought the helmet was. All right, where am I going? Oh shit, you have one of those IRL. Really? That's fucking cool. I don't have the Tomahawk. The Tomahawk's expensive, isn't it? And it's new. You have no idea where it is. That's not good. Yeah, I picked it up, bud. I picked it up. You don't need it? You have way better gear. IRL, Altons are not rated for combat, right? I think I looked that up. I don't think they're rated for combat in real life. Not at all. They're basically just cosplay items. The killer mask is definitely a cosplay item. It's fucking... You can't see anything out of the goddamn thing, bro. It's just a... It's a Russian SWAT helmet, if you're not wrong. Okay. The killer helmet is actually a real combat helmet? No shot. The mascot is a combat helmet. This guy. Heavy gunners in World War II used them. Uh, so it's the, the Riz and the... The Riz and the... Yeah, the first juggernauts who used them. Ah, uh, gosh. Let's see. So this is the mascot shield. A special steel bulletproof face shield. 
that's this so much reminds me of like um the view window on a dive helmet That's crazy. Let's see, where is it? There we are. The French also, yeah, they don't count. French had helmets that were almost the same thing. They used them while wearing all steel armor, carrying water-cooled machine guns. <laughs> Literally the world's first juggernauts. Ugh. That's kind of scary, isn't it? I'm Canadian and French by heritage. And was born in Louisiana. All right. Add time chat. We'll go into a raid. Still no ads? Really? Curious. You're Hawaiian and Spanish, so Spanish from Spain? You haven't seen ads in like two hours. I mean, they're running. I, I, have, I have one of them over here. I mean, so Spanish is Spain. Hispanic is South American, usually. Yeah, that is weird. It's a little odd. Yeah, I mean, one of them's running right here, though. It's how I track if they're still running. You're not complaining? Yeah, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's odd though. Three. 
three minutes. There it is. But yeah, I've, I've been trying to slow down in Tarkov, like just because it's a more realistic pace to walk rather than run through a, a fucking war zone, in my opinion. I mean, I, I die fairly often, um, but I've been, I've been having better um, runs of survives the past few days uh, just because I've been walking more than running. So one of the most imperative things it, to look at whenever you're walking around in Tarkov is, is your, um, there's a sound. Um, emblem next to your walking speed and that determines how far your footsteps travel right um you also have to take into consideration that some people have a way higher perception level right which increases their hearing range which is you know a little a little fucky there are some little fucky things to go that are in the game but that's that's one of the one of the weirdest ones is that it increases people's ability to hear further and stuff like that it's a little odd you learn a lot because you go through these things with elegance take your time versus opening something click 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 already knowing where everything goes and what it is. Yeah, I, I do my best. I do, I do my best to be informative. I mean, there, there are a lot of cool things and cool, cool little, um, things, just, just items and things in Tarkov that are, that are really unique and special. And like walking, you can interact with your chat a little more. You hear more things. You hear way more things walking than you do running. And you, you hear them with enough time to react to them better. Um, it's this, your footsteps are so fucking loud when you run that like, you you almost can't hear anything around you. You have to really be looking. You've never seen the rugs before, really. Um, so last wipe, I saw them a lot more. Um, mostly because they would spawn at the lighthouse island where Lightkeeper is and where Zorachi is now. Um, so we could go to that island all, like, for the m most of Last Wipe, right? Um, that was one of my favorite loot spots um, out of all of the places. And rogue, there's a rogue spawn over there, as well as the Sectent and um, Zorachi spawns. So there are a few different groups of people. There are rogues, there are cultists, there are guards, there are bosses. Um, there are, and then there are something called sectants. Those are basically cultists, but they follow, um, they follow Zarachi specifically. And 
and there, there's three rogues. I've never successfully killed all three of them. Or, sorry, no, the rogues spawn at water treatment. The um, goon squad, which are a rogue squad that go around places, they, um, they are dangerous. I've never killed all three of them. I've killed two of them before, but I've never killed the third one. Bird Eye always gets me. He's the sniper in the unit. It's a three-man squad, the goons. Uh, if we, if we, um, spawn near water treatment, we'll see, we'll kill some rogues. They, they only spawn in this water treatment area. That's, the, that's their spawn. are kind of cool because of the knife they have yeah you have to have antidote um if they cut you with it okay so you, you need antidote or it'll kill you it poisons you So in these boxes, we're looking for coftums. There is a moonshine spawn over here, which moonshine's worth a lot of money. Um, we're gonna go upstairs and open a couple of safes and I, I'll show the keys for those safes. They're USEC one and two. So there are med spawns in here, and there are med spawns there, and there are weapon spawns here. Food and stuff, and um, some valuables can spawn in there. Um, water filters and stuff spawn there. I heard someone walk. rogues beefy scabs no they are they're pmcs they're ai pmcs basically and that's probably the best way to think about it rogues are ai pmcs One's USEC 2, the other one was USEC 1. We need to buy those keys. So most safes, whenever you unlock them, you get like a, uh, almost like you're searching a duffel bag. Um, these two safes and a couple other safes in the game open and there's like a single valuable item spawn inside of them. Most of the time. Or some of the times, I should say. Um, these have not been spawning good things as well as they did last wipe. We need these. This is what we've been searching for for like a long time. need those many needs um. we 
We're going to make our way toward the extract so we can pop our flare. In a safer area. Um, there are food spawns. Anywhere you see food and plates and shit like that, there can be food spawns. Um, PBM are good. It's a 9 by 18 PM round. PM, PBM. Used in a Keter and in the Makarov and the APB um, fully automatic pistol, I believe. In here, along this, and up here and over here, there can be food spawns. You go in here. You do this. Because um, things can spawn underneath this mat. Right? Things can spawn on this table. And then this bag. I just need three more of these radios found in raid. I think someone just called in an airdrop. I just lagged a little bit. way can't go that way you can go this way though that's a locked door right there that is called um Sorry. House. It's called Hillside House. What about grenades? Are they all the same when it comes to blast area and damage? Or is it just a fuse that's different on unique grenades? Okay, so the explosion delay, so the fuse, the explosion explosion radius, and the fragment count, as well as the maximum damage, all of these can be different on every single grenade. They're all different. Um, they, yeah, they're all different. And you can throw them very far. We, we, we saw that yesterday. Like if you get one of what's the best grenade in your opinion i mean they're i don't know i'm not good with them i'm terrible with grenades so like it, my opinion is not really great a lot of people like um these and a lot of people like the vogs but they're the vog 19 i think is like basically like an f1 or like an rgd right um 
M67s are, are they have the longer, much longer fuse. Um, Fog 25s have probably have the shortest fuse out of any grenade. Yeah, yeah, those right there that you just um, posted an emote of have the shortest fuse out of any grenade in the game, except for. Unless you want to count the impact grenades. There are two different types of impact grenades in this game. He thought he was Rambo. He fucking thought. He was wrong. He was, <laughs> he was wrong. Two types of impact. They're just two different grenades. There's the RG. I don't know. I'm not gonna even. I'm not even gonna try. I don't know what they are. I thought you meant how they work. No, they're just two different ones. They're just two different grenade types. They look kind of the same, but they have different damages and explosive radiance, ra radius. Oh, it blows up on the impactor, doesn't it? It does, it does blow up on impact. Um, I don't, yeah, I do. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. Bro, that rain was so loud. Scabs just couldn't mind his own business. Yeah, most of them can't. If they see you, they aggro. The AIs, anyway, for sure, 100%. It was Call of Duty. See what I mean by that? Like, he, he thought that was an effective means of combat. Like, yeah, it's a video game, but... Uh... 
um, there are spawns in here in these books things spawn and down there things spawn this is cottage um, looks like this or hillside sorry hillside house food spawns there are valuable spawns on these shelves and then food spawns There are valuable spawns here and here as well. They can spawn. Broken crates. There's a person above me on the rocks. So we're gonna try and get out instead of moseying around here monkeying around here whatever you want to call it he just threw a grenade i think maybe What are those things in your gamma that say Trojan and bullshit? Those are docs cases. They can hold keys, valuables, and money. God damn it. Um, not like this cap, not like this. Oh, it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Um, let's say four or five, five. We're going to drop one other thing. We gotta drop the M80. is it 11 yeah, yeah yeah see it splits it in half every time you use a cms just about that's wild i mean you're 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 so if you go right here and crouch, nobody that runs up can see you in this water. If, if you go down there and you crouch right there, nobody can see you. 
So if you're being followed to the extract, go there. I mean, it's actually a fairly short extract time. Um, but if you go there and you crouch and you bend down, no one can see you. You're hidden completely under the water. T55A1, TCWSP. Guess that's kind of fair. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's literally, it's, you're using a rudimentary medical kit to do surgery on yourself in the field. Um, so, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's fair. It's definitely fair how it, how it reduces it. So with that in mind, you can use a, um, you can use a serve more times. You can use it for more things. And um, you can use it more times on a limb before you, before it's negligible. You know what I mean? Before it's like single digit numbers. So you can, you can fix your leg probably four or five times in a single, your leg, your arm, any leg, arm, stomach, um, any of those, you can probably fix those three, four or five times in a raid with a serve. You can only do it like three or four times with a, like maybe four times, four times is pushing it with a CMS. Like you're four times. You're probably in single digits. I think, I believe. Where was that? Um, there it is. This is what we're working on right now. Desperately searching for these. Desperately. Wouldn't make sense to get your limbs rocked over and over and still have full, yeah, 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 yeah. still have full ability to use them and everything like that. Yeah. Like it never happened. We don't have that here. So in Raid, I see a lot of people walk by NPCs or people they just know they're scabs. How do you tell? How do you know someone's a scab without hearing them voice line? Is there a visual giveaway? I mean, a little bit. Yes. So scabs wear different clothes. That's the biggest giveaway. It's the arms and the legs that give it away. Not this area. This area is fucking useless for identification unless they're not wearing a face shield. If they're wearing a balaclava, this is useless for identification, right? You want to look at their arms and their hands, mostly. So, scabs spawn like this. See, like, they're different. Like, their pants are brown and... They're wearing fucking slippers. Um, now that's how, that's how you tell if um, the difference between a PMC and a scav. There's no dead giveaway for a um, AI scav um, versus um, player scav, unless they jump. Um, so most most um 
most so AI scabs don't run from one lootable box to the another, right? They don't do that. Um, secondly, they don't jump. Thirdly, they usually do not repeat voice lines over and over and over and over and over. Okay. Is there anything a PMC can wear or equip that scabs can't? No. Other than armbands, I mean, scabs can't equip armbands and scabs don't have pouches. Um, scabs spawn with certain types of clothes on. So like you can tell from their pants and their arm colors, right? However, BMCs can change the way that they look with Ragman. So this is what you start in, right? This is what I wear. A lot of this stuff is locked and cost a lot of money. Like I can't unlock these because I don't have enough rubles to unlock these. Not because I'm not high enough level. Because they're just fucking expensive. Four and a half million, right? Just for some fucking for a, a sweater. Urban responder level forty five and six point five million for some fucking pants and boots. And then great. Don't we love that? Don't we love that shit? Are clothes lootable? No. You can only buy them from there. Clothes are completely unlootable. And they can only be changed through that menu at Ragman. And I think you have to be a certain level before you can buy any of those, before you even unlock that tab with Ragman. You may have to be a certain level or complete a certain task before, before you unlock that ability. I don't, I don't think you can log in the first day and change your clothes. First, because there are level requirements, right? So this requires you to be level six. These probably require you to be level five or something. Four or five. This requires you to be level seven, 13, 16. There are le level requirements to them though. Even though there aren't any. This is gonna go away, that'll go there. All right. Dog is whining again, I've gotta take her out. Turn some music on. Stressful dog, stressful dog.
Yeah, I just did a, a minute of them. Didn't need need to run a full three minutes of ads for the scavrabe. Then I'll likely do one more minute and go right back into a PMC raid. That should that should be enough to get me through another PMC raid before I have to do a full set of ads. I try to do my best to make sure they don't come on during a raid. Sometimes I digress a bit. Your cab looks like he parties hard. I agree. I agree. Like I do my best to run ads in such a way that people can come into the stream and they don't get ads when they come into the stream. Because I know I, a lot of people just leave. You know what I mean? Like, they don't, they don't want to sit through fucking four minutes of your ads at the very beginning before they even get to hear your voice or see. Like, they feel like it could very well be a waste of their time. It's like a gamble. Uh, I try to keep pre-rolls off. To increase retention. Because we have very short attention spans these days. Twenty-four minutes. When you roll ads, I'll normally flip over to Instagram till they end, or I'll go get food or something. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I get up, I run ads, and I'll get up and go. Um, <laughs> And I'll go and get food. <laughs> um, but. Oh. This is, this is good. This is good. Dead people everywhere in Tarkov, right? They threw them. They threw them, bro. Push them, push them off the edge and just let them roll down the rocks. Isn't that great? That's so vile. Makes you think, what the fuck happened here? Is, is what comes to mind. Why? What happened? Scav has the priorities right. Mosin, $500. <laughs> optic, $1,800. I hate this optic. It's one of the worst optics in the game.
this is uh not quite that big of an optic it's not that good oh, i want all of that shit dog oh, gib i pressed escape too many times Um, something that's super important to use in Tarkov is ballistics on the Escape from Tarkov fandom wiki. It tells you the bullet effectiveness against armor classes, its damage, pin power, damage percent its accuracy recoil and fragmentation chance it also tells you the light and heavy bleed chance of that round highly recommended because it's not necessarily one-to-one -one IRL not necessarily there are some rounds that are kind of dog shit IRL, but they're good if you use them in a certain way. Like only shooting people in the legs with rip ammo and shit like that. So bleeds are left to chance, not damage. It do so it's the ammunition and the um, percent chance that that can happen. Not damage, no not damage oriented it's like you got hit with this bullet um this percent of the time it can cause um you know heavy bleed if it's rated for it so in theory you can get one shot you can get shot once and get a heavy exactly yeah 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 100% all day, bro. All day. Correct. Um, this door opens. So in here you have this box, this box, and there are meds and stuff that can spawn here. Meds can spawn here. And here you've got a duffel bag. Yeah, damn. Yeah, damn. I mean, you can get a heavy bleed getting shot once in real life. I mean, it's not, not a difficult thing to do. You just shoot somebody in the artery. Get a heavy bleed. A light bleed comes from a flesh wound. Usually a heavy bleed comes from arterial damage. Or organ damage. Valuable things spawn on this desk. Good to check this desk. Or this kitchen table, whatever you want to call it. Valuable things spawn on it. Bullets can spawn here. Items can spawn here. There's a crate here. Got so general things. Croutons are really good early wipe because there are a couple of quests that you have to turn in some food items and they're They can be used to craft those food items in the hideout. So That's good. It's good 
However, you it, there. I don't. I haven't tried to sell any recently, but there, there was a time where it was just very difficult. To, you couldn't sell them in mass quantities. Um, they were the taxes on posting it for sale were so god awful high. I don't like reflex sites. Whoop, what you Over here you have food spawn, more croutons. You have this med spawn. Pluton. That's gonna spawn here and here. Over here you've got this guy. Guns and weapon parts can spawn in there. Usually like shotgun tubes and stuff spawn in those. Then you've got this. It's like a little tiny safe up top. Um, duffel bag. Duffel bag, boys. Um, so if you're a PMC and you're leaving this point of this POI, it's good to keep an eye on this area over here. Um, because people do like just sit here and they'll just hang out. Like right up there or they'll sit in the bush. They'll sit in this bush right here or they'll sit right here. If they hear you in the house and they don't want to push inside of it, like they're by themselves, they'll wait for you to come through this gate and then try and shoot you in the head when you come through the gate. <laughs> yep. Like that. Let's see, he was just. He was just sitting in a fucking bush. That was a player. Just sitting in a goddamn bush. Fully automatic weapon. Why? No idea. No fucking clue. Do you know how many players can be in raid at one time? Uh, yeah. It tells you. It tells you before you go into the raid. Damn scab down. Yeah, he shouldn't have been there. That was weird. There was there was less than twenty minutes left. Over sixty percent of the raid had expired, and he was sitting in a bush in the middle of the map, not near any extract. It, that's it's really fucking weird whenever stuff like that happens i report like regardless of if it was sus or not like it wasn't sus the way he killed me like he, he shot a whole lot of fucking bullets but it like it just the fact of him like being there is weird like there's no no reason for him to be there there's not a stash down there the only reason is to hide and shoot things that run by him Which is, he may just sit in that bush and wait until somebody with gear ha that he wants, and then he shoots. He might have already let four or five scavs, AI scavs, pass right by him. You know what I mean? Some people do that. They'll just sit and wait until a number pops up on their screen that's big enough for them to pop out and start shooting at things. It's common. Like, you can go into raid with a 1 million ruble kit sit in a bush and probably 1 in 10 times you'll die in that bush. Oh, 
change the speed. You didn't break your arm, so that's cool. Yeah, it is cool, isn't it? Um, lavatory. One minute of ads, then we'll go back into a raid. Let's repair everything. Hopefully we get a good spawn to pop this up. Player, get us an airdrop. Hopefully we get us a free airdrop. I can't imagine going to the gym, laying down, doing a bench press and just breaking my fucking arm. That's all right. That that concept is wild to me. You'd have to be so malnourished. Or ill. That would blow ass. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking glass bones. The worst part about Tarkov, other than the desync, is how long it takes takes to load in sometimes. Sometimes it takes two minutes, sometimes it takes four minutes, five minutes to load in. It's just dependent on the other people in your server loading in the content that they need to load in. A lot of times.
What's up, Chilled? How are you doing this morning, bud? Or this afternoon for you? The fuck? You've been live for three hours? Yeah, I've been live for three hours. It's on Twitter and in the Discord. 8.26 a.m. Often search begins at everyone. You shit the bed? Nah. Nah. We've been having a pretty good day, bud. Having a pretty good day. We're on a three survival streak. Our survival rate has went up 1%. We are, we're poor, but we haven't sold anything in like five raids, so. I had a fall last night. Oh no. Are you all right? Always be careful here in this spawn because people spawn over here. Yeah, I feel okay. No pain. You said that like you're old. Uh, he broke. He broke his leg. Like his femur and all kinds of shit. They had to screw his his leg and knee back together and shit. Um, just just a couple months ago. Not long at all. He's still recovering. He just started physical therapy or physiotherapy. Yeah, he crashed. He crashed. He crashed on a on a motorcycle. Delivering. For Deliveroo and another one. I don't know. Yeah. Uber. Yeah, Uber Eats. Yeah. Yeah. He fucked himself up on ice. Was it ice or was it wet? Ice, ice, baby. All right. All right, then. That's not an American we're really that proud of, bro. Like, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention. Something. Grabs a hold of me tightly. Folds like a harpoon. Deadly and nightly. Will it ever stop, though? I don't know. Turn off the lights. And now blow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Did not think much of his other stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I couldn't tell you a single other lyric. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> he was the one hit wonder, but God was that one hit very famous. And then he went on surreal life, like a fucking reality TV show and got kicked off of it. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. The Vanilla Sprite Remix Vanilla Ice Rick Ross and Forgiato Blow is banging though. <laughs> no shot. That's the real name of it, bro. No way. The Vanilla Sprite Remix Vanilla Ice Rick Ross and Forgiato Blow. 
No shot. No shot, bro. <laughs> Why? Why? Doesn't sound super exotic. You know it's gonna be good with Rick Ross in it though? Not really. I don't like Rick Ross all that much. I don't know if Rick Ross would even be in my top 20, I'm gonna be honest with you. He's got bars on par with Vanilla Ice. Somebody got shot. You like his older stuff? I feel like. So, like, I don't like Future that much either. It feels like he's been producing the same. Like, he's, he says he says different words in his songs, right? But it's always the same sort of sound. It always sounds the fucking same. So what you're saying is Rick Ross is a black, fat, vanilla ice? No, I didn't say that at all. Like, he's just, he's one of those that every, every song has the same sort of vibe and sound and feel. I don't, I don't like that. It's, it, he lacks the versatility and it, uh, it, I don't know. Yes, hard yes. There's a guy up on the law. Lincoln Park does the same where all their songs sound the same. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of people that they just, they have one style. But like, it's, it's one thing to have one style and all of your songs be different. It's another thing to have one style and like all of your lyrics are basically the same thing, just kind of jumbled around a bit. This guy's gonna camp me, bro. The guy up on the rocks. He's gonna hold me here. Isn't who Canadian? Justin Bieber's Canadian, Drake's Canadian. Um, Green Day's not Canadian. Green Day is um, British. UK somewhere over there. Um, Lincoln Park, I'm not sure if they are or not. Shit. 
You're pretty sure Green Day's Canadian. They are not. Billy Joel is definitely Canadian. I'm not sure. I have no idea. He is from Oakland, California. Well, fuck. There's that. We were both wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I have, I don't want to leave this fucking place. Billy Joel Armstrong is the leader of Green Day, isn't he? I believe so. Was born in Piedmont, California. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Nope. We just confirmed that he is an American. But he did state that he was going to renounce his American citizenship last year. Green Day's American. Who was I thinking of then? Uh, he hates America. Okay. Well, there's that. I thought they were. He talks really weird. He, he he has a very unique manner of speaking and singing for someone born and raised in California. Honestly. he can kill people is to sit on a door for 10 minutes yeah he's been there for 15 minutes bro yeah i killed another dude outside he he ran there and just fucking sat there and ratted the entire raid some people literally they just don't move they won't move they they will find a player and they will fucking yeah i died after getting behind the wall i know yeah i reported it because i died after after um passing that they'll look at it and tell whether it's desync or if he was cheating but um yeah 
if he had if he had killed me before I got behind the wall, I wouldn't have reported him, but He shot me after he couldn't see me again. It's fine. He needed it more than we did, obviously. I need to I need to sell some shit, bro. God damn it. You're normally falling asleep right now, but you fell asleep early as fuck last night. Woke up at six. I feel so weird. Where where do you where do you um where are you from, Nebula? You don't mind me asking. San Diego. You're going, you're usually trying. Wait, what? Do you work night shift? You just hurt my head. Seven hundred K. We go here. These can go. I needed three of those. You work night crew your whole military life and your contracting job you've always worked night classes and training so you've just lived your whole life at night at this point well damn a day you can't shake it you try you get sick you swear yeah i i used to stay up most of the night and i've considered switching to a nighttime stream but um, decided against it just because so a lot of people swear that nighttime streams are better for smaller streamers because there's less competition but like in my opinion I, I don't know that just doesn't track with me the right way Keep that. Why oh, you disappeared a little before you said bye? Okay. A stream you did sleep for two hours, woke up. I had to tell you I was getting off because I couldn't stay awake. Oh, oh, I got you. I got you. I remember that. 
Okay. Everything must go. Um, sorry, I'm trying to figure this out in my brain and it's not going to work like that. I'm just going to sell these guns. Not the SR. Okay. Yeah. Everything. Ragman. I've been done, Ragman. I already got it. So now we do this couple things that I want to do before I get rid of anything else too. Thirty eight K for that. What a, a rip off. Maybe the tack monies are worth. I haven't worn one of those all white. They change it. Need a rig. Uh, 
of Not, we're not poor anymore. You died as a PMC last raid, right? I did. I did. I did. Why isn't this working? There. I believe so. We can check. Yeah. Current survival streak's zero. Forty five million stash value. Cool. Need a gun. I need a weapon. It's not gonna work. That's gotta go in the gun. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that work. This is a flashlight. Yep. Yo, yo, how's it going, Manicor? This is a new, one of the newest weapons. We like it. Here for it. There should be very few PMCs in this raid. Doing good, gamer. Glad to hear it, bud. Glad to hear it. We're gonna go into the super early lighthouse raid and get all of the loot. Steal it all. Just one day after another. Having oof. Well, I have been searching for military wireless signal transmitters all day. It's fun, but it takes long. Got you. I have um, Ah. GTA RT GTA V RP servers uh take forever, but it's enjoyable. 
they take why did they take forever custom coding add-ons etc uh, okay see i don't i don't i'm not super familiar with um code or anything like that i'm aware of it i have a little bit of understanding of it but i'm not um i'm not versed well in it build knows more about the stuff because it's rockstar i remember playing um gta back in the day and it would every time you traveled somewhere you had to wait like fucking 10 minutes in the goddamn menu while it showed album artwork Come. Come with me. I want you to come with me. Am I trying to farm rogues in the rain at dark? In the dark? Manyatna. Manyatna. You like Regent more or just don't like five in in general? Oh, talking to chilled. Because I have no idea. Shield's developing a game on um, made some custom on one in the past. I don't know if it was a guy. Something kept breaking the mods every two to three months. Really? Curious. How much time do we have? Cross the mods by hand, really difficult to do. Suck, they're really difficult to do. I don't imagine it would be. It would be hard to um, maintain all of. Yeah, that would be a very tedious job to make make it all work and run without any errors. After that, you stop doing mods for five minutes. Just getting pissed off with them. Updates: We're making the mod. We're breaking the mods. Ah, uh, that's what. That sucks. I somewhat break other mods. Mods for 5M need to keep getting updated constantly. That's gross. And it's crazy to me, like, that games and... There are all kinds of things that need to be updated constantly to work, right? Um... Like 20 years ago, they didn't 
We didn't even have internet on our consoles. Oh no. Alright then. Cool. <laughs> that was cool. I don't know. A player sitting in the dark? Probably. It was a player. It was a player. He fired one round into my brain. You joined my Discord? Oh, great. That's awesome. I think I can stick this out. I can see myself fading into the darkness. <laughs> All right, Nebula. Hope you have a good sleep, bud. Thanks for hanging out. Now I only do work for Fiverr. Oh yeah. Oh no, chill. He's he's going to sleep like to bed. He he's sleeping. He is going to bed. Catch you later, bud. So fours and imagine if it makes me want to buy another. This makes me it makes me want to buy um another junk box so that I can have single items and and bigger items and then a double item one. Just so they it looks better, but that's that's a bit much. Um, yeah. You get my keys for interchange. Bro, we've been surviving far too much, chilled. Oh, shit. All kinds of stuff. Oh. Get over 2K USD in the last month on Fiverr? Fuck, bud. Yep, I recommend making a general call for your Discord for people to chill in. I'm not sure about that, Manicor.
That's the idea why I can't walk. Fucking doors are right now. This is fine, right? This should be fine. Yeah, I don't, I re really don't use Discord for much other than to keep up with the updates for Tarkov. I mean, yeah, it's a community Discord. You could you can go and hang out in the in there, but I just I just use it to post things mostly. Like when I go live and then um there's a channel that keeps track of all of the updates and post by Tarkov changes and from BSG and stuff like that. Um so it is a community Discord. It's 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 mostly geared to a community to keep them updated with the games that I'm playing. Um, but like, I don't, I don't keep, I don't have Discord open on either one of my computers. The only game you do play is Tarkov. I mean, mostly, yeah. I mean, sometimes I get really sick of Tarkov and I'll play I'll play other games for like a day or so. It's just a recommendation. Thank you for the recommendation. We will, I'll, I'll put it in the recommendation box. One minute of ads chat before we go into the raid. Slips card in the recommendation box. Well, there you go. There's a text channel for stream recommendations in the Discord, and there's a chatting voice channel with no limit on um, participants. He's like, let me file that for you. Well, now there's one in chatting. Glad to hear it's being used. So, like, I don't... Uh, Discord, for it to have good audio quality from me, like the chat has to be pulled up on the stream PC. Um, the stream PC is very, very, it's a, it's a baby PC, right? It's a little, it's a little guy. Um, it, it does its best to run OBS and my web browser and Spotify. If I open Discord, I start dropping frames really really bad it overloads my encoder for some reason or it overloads my cpu when i open discord
I don't I don't ever open it on my stream PC. Yeah, there's there's a there's a couple of milliseconds of audio latency because I hear everything through my stream PC, not through my game PC. This, this these are hooked to the stream PC. So I hear alerts and all of that stuff and I hear the game and I hear the music and it can all be controlled from a central location. Yeah. Each other one is come put me in comms if you want. Exactly. Be right back. All right, I'll be here. Not going anywhere. level five yeah we like these we like the arm protection why am i so heavy wait does Confused as to why I'm moving so sluggishly. It's got to be this armor. Movement speed minus 10, turn speed minus 7, ergo minus 7. Yep, it's this armor. Like it's not the being overweight part, right? It's the armor itself. That's weird. Bax, welcome back. Where's my Iskra? I was anticipating an Iskra. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.
All right, let's stack this stuff in a neat little line. Big enough for a big ass gun. What? I wish audio, um, traveled through objects more consistently. Keep them for now. I hate that I don't have, you don't get railway spawn whenever you spawn it, hour. It's just as far away as Emmercom. But like, I can go down there and run stashes. Can't do that back here. There are, aren't any. Really? doing some work. You've got a $600 order to do. You got another order for your high end? Or something different? All good. I am pull with chat system. Ooh, that sounds cool. I guess it makes sense though. You could you could build a mining pool for all, you and all of your friends to hang out on. Or you would be able to um use it as a a help tool to help other people set up in your pool. That'd be cool. It's neat. Been having to use Google Translate to talk to this buyer. China hasn't advanced technologically very much in the past decade. They just um, regurgitate other people's advancements. They themselves have not um, advanced in computer technology in like a decade. I 
I watched a uh, a talk the other day that that estimates that China will will no longer become will no longer be able to sustain its workforce in 10 to 15 years because they limited the children for so long they're going to miss an entire generation like like they're they're literally lacking an entire generation because they they severely limited the amount of children that their people could birth So like people, the Chinese don't have people in like their, a lot of people in their forties um, and fifties or anything like that. They're either like in their eighties or nineties or they're in their thirties or forties. You will help repopulate. All right, bud, get after it. I don't like that spawn, it's gross. Well, the thing is, their population is still too large. Their population is still too large, but they're missing an entire generation now. This is something that happened 30, 40 years ago. And they are receiving the effects of that now. They're now seeing those effects because they're missing part of their workforce. They're completely self-reliant on the outside world now. Are these what's so heavy? Okay. Yeah, have. So that is a bust.
where do we want to go you know what fuck it we're gonna go to factory bro I need to kill Tagilla. Yes, yeah, look at the Xbox One. The GPU chip is an old AMD chip from 2012. I didn't see that. Jesus. There you go. Case in hand. Case in point. Yeah, it was from before the RX range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine GTX range. Oh, you're talking, it's an AMD chip, RX. So I imagine Xbox is always used AMD graphics and PS, PlayStation is always used Intel graphics. Is that, would that be an accurate Yep. <laughs> Something like that. Wow. Crazy. Doesn't Bill Gates own? Yeah, Microsoft. Microsoft owns Xbox.
hang out, let them kill each other. I was hoping to see Tagilla. What happened? Uh, yeah, I don't want any of that shit. This other fucking dude's naked with a shotgun. Oh, he's not naked. He's not naked. People swear by that. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Nearly full. Wow. Wow. Yo, I killed him with like the last bullet in that gun. He almost got me. He would have had me. But I got them without, <laughs> without them, without, without, yeah, we did that. We did that. Did it. Wonder if he got it into his ass. Got this stuff into him. Looks like it.
speed two is not bad, but if there was a third one, I would have died. Two is not bad, but if there was a third one, I would have, I would have been murdered. Not bad. Not great. But not bad. They killed another player or they went up there because the one heart he had a tag. I like this gun. Is this the best gun ever produced? Ever? No. That's the KS. <laughs> no, actually, it's the AK. To be honest, I mean they're 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 not great, but they are they are battle hardened. They are highly functional, even when poorly maintained. Yeah. Tubaki killed this guy with the shotgun. He was doing the shotgun thing. <laughs> this is the first guy we found that was killed by the scab that was naked. Oh. Everything else can go to a vendor.
100k not bad from a factory raid Oh, water. Oh. I'll be right back.
Ничего, скупщику все продам и заживем. Sick. Зачем, бля, чё? Ну что, неплохой день, да? Четко все. Why aren't they coming back?
<laughs> oh yeah, we're going to that airdrop was this way also want to check for radio transmitters please ну чё шкура цела уже неплохо а опачки А, вот тут, короче, друган мой бывал точно. Сейчас к барыгам, короче. Вот он по бабам. Что за хрень? Ну, пожрать бы, конечно, вообще не мешало бы это. Ха, да и что, нормально?
Oops. Опачки.
Сейчас к барыгам, короче. Потом по бабам. Alright, you're having a break for a bit now. How's it coming along? We just got an airdrop on our scab. Have PKs in it and a um, couple good armors. A USEC armor and a Osprey. A trooper. Highcom trooper. Gonna chad this raid? You know I'm a I'm a scav. Going okay, got all the OS set up for the pool and database all set up installed, so just front ended it now. Hell yeah. Eight hours in so far. That's not bad. А, вот тут, короче, друган мой бывал точно. Ну что, неплохой день, да? Сотка все. Common, because we look like a fucking. No, we don't. We don't look anything like a PMC. If somebody shot us just because we were wearing that gear out of. Fucking. 
maybe two hours left and just stroud them in chat to set up after front end. Okay, not too bad. Add time chat. said to him it'll be done by Sunday just in case anything happens that gives you lots of time to fix any bugs yeah good that's good but turn on music that's on the wrong I'll be right back. I'm gonna stretch my, my neck hurting. Back hurting. Bit.
have used your auto install script for it. The guy's using Ubuntu 22.04 because of errors. That as it's may has only made it for Ubuntu 18.04 and 20.04. like four of these fucking things bro I don't want to bring this gun here. I don't want to bring this gun here. We'll put this up and bring an SR.
Cheers. I'm gonna put this thing on an hour timer. So that I <laughs> use it once an hour. These sweatpants I'm wearing don't like they get stuck on my calves. So like m m it doesn't want my leg to bend all the way. It wants them to sit like that because they're so tight around the top of my knees and the bottoms of my legs. Because my, my pant leg fucking comes up to the bottom of my calf whenever I'm, I'm sitting down. Just open. I have 1,200 rounds of M80, no. <laughs> and only... And only 54 rounds of it's found in Raid. Because I don't use it. I need to start bringing an M80 to backload.
Excuse me. Does have a light. Okay. Oh, I got one. Got another one. Okay. I need to work on this one. Instead. Where's the other nine? Uh, there it is. Oh yeah, that needs to go into an ammo case. That can go back there. Okay, let's run interchange. I'm gonna run a quick factory scab. Quick factory scav, one minute of ads, and then um, interchange raid. Yeah, that'd be good. Well, there was that. I'm gonna run a minute of ads and then go into a venture change raid, I guess. Or another lighthouse raid. Not entirely sure. Sports bag, dead scav, weapon box, round cash, buried drum cash. Never mind, we've got to run. There, there aren't any designated spawns for them on Lighthouse or on Interchange. I mean, so while they can spawn, it's not. As high of a rate as in those boxes and shit on Lighthouse.
Oh, I... Sorry. Changed my mind. Closer. To what occurred. Ну что, неплохой день, да? Четко все. А, вот тут, короче, друган мой бывал точно. Sick.
so supposedly let's go over here so supposedly all of these things sorry almost all of these things probably 90 85 percent of these POIs can spawn only the five by five um, crates can weapon crates can um, spawn the coffin so the black weapon crates are the only ones that can spawn the coffin but all of these for the most part um, excluding the four by three weapon crates um, and the two by four weapon crates or ammunition crates excluding those things on the map all of these can spawn the radios that we need all, all of these other things this four by four weapon box can dead scavs can dead scav duffel bags can spawn them four by four weapon box duffel bag duffel bag barrel caches can spawn them barrel cache barrel cache ground caches can spawn them Look, the song ended in a perfect amount of time, right? Just had to sort out your leg brace that had slipped down. You're good, bud. It's stupid that you can't jump if you're in a bush. That's crazy. Like your legs just can't bend, bro. Like just don't let us in the fucking bushes. Let us in between the bushes. We can walk through them. There's obviously a between. I missed a duffel bag. There's a duffel bag upstairs in there.
Surely those scabs aren't aggroing me like that in the rain from distance. From a hundred meters out, 60 meters out, whatever you want to call it. Somewhere between 60 and 100, yeah. <laughs> Has to be someone else that killed them, right? Has to be dead, right? Maybe. There's a fucking airdrop. I'm getting 57 frames. Oh, my. Oh, 67. That's better. God damn, that rain is so loud. That is hard to listen to. Bro. Like even in even in these headphones that 
Reduce that shit. The rain is over the top. I agree. So goddamn loud. I see a bandit. No, you don't. You fucking liar. You fucking liar. Holy PC. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. We got locals. We got locals. Is he above or is he possibly in here? On the roof, you think? I know that they sometimes come down off of the roof. And are in here, but. Yeah, I think, I think there's someone pushing around. There's someone low with me. Scab over there. I don't believe him. We got locals.
I wish there was some way to tell Rare to find friendly in Tarkov, yeah I don't, see, I don't trust anybody that says they're friendly That's the thing Because I've had people act friendly and then shoot me in the fucking head I'm not, I'm not even gonna like Go with it 90% of the time so much gears to guys like that yeah like i'm not 90 percent of the time they're gonna shoot you in the head the very first chance they get if you reveal that you're hesitant they will probably kill you the very first chance that they get So much gear to guys like that. do that shit a lot and it really shows a lot about their character oh no 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 I'm friendly bro I'm not gonna shoot you clap the second you turn around really just shows their character like they don't lack any or they don't have any they lack all character Эй, 
He just ran all the way up top. Holy bloody mess. Northern. Не, я ж пацанами за такое не тер.
mean, not the greatest raid, but not the worst raid either. Can't wait for dinner. What's for dinner today? Chips, sausage, and curry sauce. Oh. You like you some curry sauce, don't you? Not yes. Hell yes. So gross when it does that, bro. So gross. One minute of ads so that we don't have pre rolls in raid. I'll be right back. You know, need a moment.
fucking server fire, bro. What's going on? Why? Ну, пожрать бы, конечно, вообще не помешало бы это. Ну чё, шкура цела уже неплохо, а? Да, Хули!
Зачем, блядь, чё? Oh, sorry. That sounds really good. I just ate the first thing I've eaten all day and it was just a pack of cookies. These. Not like the picture of good health or anything. No, no, I hadn't. I had coffee. And half of this thing. This Gatorade. Thing. I usually can't eat when I get up. I just can't do it. Oh, sorry. Ads chat. Come on, get me back to the stash, bro. Jeez.
No, it doesn't want to work at all. Um, my mouse is frozen in Tarkov. There it is. There we go. Fuck. Not this. The only way to fix that is to restart the entire PC. It used to happen all the time when I was um, streaming on just the, the one PC. Um, it did it far more. Just all of the alt tabbing, it would just happen. That was probably my fault, to be honest with you. Let's, both be, let's be honest, that was probably my fault. Um, right. See, we might still be alive. Then our latency will be a little bit broken, and we'll be a little out of, we'll be a little out of desync with the server. It'll be, it'll be great. Oh man. It's gonna be great. We can act. I need to fix the video. Here we go. Set this bitch off. Set this bitch off.
Y'all's 30, mine's 40. Album. Good luck. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Hey, our latency's not all fucked up. That's cool. Cool new feature. Game doesn't break if you have to restart it in the middle of a raid. <laughs> <laughs> cool new feature, guys. <laughs> that water is so loud, bro. Why is water so loud? Zero skill required for that, bud. Yep. Bush enjoyer. I think this game would be way better if if guns wouldn't full auto like that, like No one in the world can full auto something like this. Like, nobody full autos. People don't do that. There's literally no need for it unless you're shooting at a vehicle. Like, why? 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 They're both dead. I mean, God damn. It just doesn't make sense most of the time to full auto a gun, even if it is a fully automatic gun. And... I don't know. I want to 
one of those things. You can full auto far too many guns in this game, like with no real recoil or accuracy um, penalty. And like, that's just not how guns work. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Like submachine guns? Yeah, they're made for full auto. But large caliber repeating weapons usually aren't full auto. You have to be very close. Right? Like nobody's full autoing a weapon at 60 yards. Nobody's doing that. So it's always suspect to me whenever I have um, good armor on my head that I always get shot in the arms and legs. But if I don't wear armor, I get shot in the chest. It's the strangest occurrence. I don't understand it. It doesn't. <laughs> I don't understand why the game does that. Oh yeah, we already looked at the day. I hate when it does that. Uh, this, this, this.
have everything we need to start another one after that. All right, do I need anything else? I need to replenish these. I won't we'll keep it in there anyway. We're More grenades, maybe.
All right, there we go. Oh, we are hurt. That was his, that had to be his friend. They had to be together. According to like spawns, there's no way. There's act. There's literally no way that that could have been another separate entity. I don't, I don't think there's enough.
All right. <clears throat> oh, the minutes straight. My shit. Fuck up your face. God, I'm the reason the whole. Call me Rambo when it's sad. Facing that needle, you you loaded too. Touching all across hell, how I answer that. I don't think that's something that needs to pop up in raid. I don't need to know that my offer on the flea market is going to expire in an hour while I'm in a raid. There's no need for me to know that.
Ну, пожрать бы, конечно, вообще не помешало бы это. Actually, it's looking like a pretty decent raid for a scav with minimal space and no armor other than the one the level one protection on my face. DM ah. of all of the stashes to hit that one is the weirdest one that I've ever seen because all of those other ones were full and that one somebody had already looted which is really weird because it's the only thing to loot out here maybe a scav maybe a scav that doesn't somebody that doesn't main main this map i don't know but um, we can get out of here leave now Won't complain about it.
Almost. Um, I don't want to, I'm, I'm going to smoke in like 10 minutes and I don't want to go into raid and then stop in the middle of raid to smoke. So I never had shit, but I could fuck a bad bitch. Forty seven million stash value. Twelve, eight, seven. Gross. Three. Um, anyways. We've almost got elite endurance. We go into this raid, we'll have elite endurance by the end of it, I think. Um, yeah, that should be doable in a single raid. Also, I want to go in early morning um, to Lighthouse as a, as a deterrent. Because we're rounding the end of the stream, right? And, uh, like, we got an hour left of it, and, like, kids are getting out of school in America on the East Coast.
You only get seven of them. Jeez. That's crazy. A lot of these are just gross. All right, so factory scav, smoke, lighthouse. Oh, fuck. It's just a green. Did anybody else see him? Cause I sure shit didn't see him. Fucking bullets came out of nowhere. What a gross ass fucking name.
All right. Ready. Last name ever, first name greatest. Like a sprained ankle, boy, I ain't nothing to play with. Ads chat. Chemo. Drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album. Who'd have thought a countrywide toy would be the outcome? Rose. Apex Legends ads. Waiting for players. At this point, I'm not even going into the same raid. It's like 20 minutes later in game than when I initially loaded in or tried to start loading in. It's going to already be getting light when I get into this raid because it takes so long to load in. Which is, which is a little fucked.
I don't even want to play this raid now. Like I've waited so long. This is fucking stupid. It's not even going to be dark. At this rate. We've been waiting for players for what? Two minutes now? Fuck that player. They don't need to be in this raid. Fuck the players. Let me in raid. Um, please. What a joke. Bro, they're dead ass open world games that spot that oh my god that's fucking crazy that I had to wait four and a half minutes after I loaded everything for the map to get into a raid that is absurd Absurd. It's not even dark, bro. I went in because it was dark, Nikita. I wanted a dark raid. What a fucking joke, bro. You can't even pick the time you want to go into the fucking raid because it changes time by the time you get into the goddamn raid. Fucking stupid. Fuck the other players. If they can't load in fast enough, then fuck them. They can go to another raid. There should be a three minute max wait time to get into a raid. Shouldn't have to wait six minutes or longer ever. Not even for a fucking scav on Shoreline or Labs when they allow that. It's crazy. Wait six minutes to die 30 seconds into a raid. Ruin your whole fucking day. Fucking joke. And it's always some stupid shit that happens in raids when you have to wait that goddamn long. Always some stupid shit. This raid fucking joke. I wanted to play. If I wanted to wait six minutes for my game to load. I would go get out a PS2 and play Assassin's Creed. Fucking stupid. You didn't even have to wait six minutes to get into a match in fucking CS two decades ago. Figured the fuck out.
we are punished because other players in the raid don't have as good equipment. That's, that's it. Or we're punished and don't get the raid that we want to go into because there aren't enough players to go into that raid. There should not be a minimum number of players to, to start a raid. That's stupid. I want to go into a raid at 6 a.m. I should get into the raid at 6 a.m., not fucking 8 a.m. Because the sun isn't out like this until 8. Fucking stupid. So now I'm playing a completely different raid than I wanted to play. I wanted to be at a POI before it got bright. But it was bright when I loaded into the fucking map. Because time doesn't stop for some reason when you decide to go into the raid. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. If I want to go into a 6 a.m. raid, I should very well get into a 6 a.m. raid. Fucking crazy how they do time. Absurd. I don't anticipate surviving this raid. I'll die to somebody desyncing across the fucking map or some random bullet in my brain. More than likely. Anytime it takes longer than two minutes to load into a raid, that's exactly how you die. Always die to stupid shit every time it takes forever to get into a raid. the best 9 by 18 rounds you can get but well. If I die, I'm getting off. I'm not doing another raid. Because that just pissed me the fuck off. Fucking three hours elapsed in raid because somebody couldn't load in the fucking stuff fast enough. Or because I didn't have the minimum number of players in my raid. That's crazy, bro. Like, fuck you.
Someone's already been here on the left. Or they're inside of the house. I think they already left. But you never know with these fucking people, dude. You never know. These people are so fucking weird. Like, I don't care that time runs fast while you're in the menus, right? No big deal to me. I do, however, think that raids should be real time or half time that it does when you're out of raid. Because the weather changes far too fucking fast. The day and night times change far too fucking fast. Honestly, it's just more annoying than anything. The way it does time. It's just weird. I don't like it.
course there was two of them. Why wouldn't there be two of them? Why wouldn't there be two of them? Our death screen health menu is fucking stupid. I don't want to see the damage that the that happened to my arms from fucking bleeding. I want to see where the bullets hit me. Fucking retarded how it's built. You can't even really tell. Immediately. It looks like you got shot in every fucking limb. Some things in this game are just stupid, bro. That's the end of the stream, bro. That's fucking ridiculous. These people are so dog shit.